and today I'm going to show you how to use an egg carton for practicing addition and subtraction. We're going to start by looking at one digit numbers, then we're going to look at two digit numbers. For this first activity, you'll need an egg box and two pieces which could be coins, marbles, dry pasta or anything else you can find. I'm using two pieces from one of my games. I've written the numbers 1 to 12 inside the egg box and I'm going to place the game pieces in one section. The next thing I need to do is close the egg box and shake it. I then open the egg box and see where the game pieces have landed. Here they've landed on 7 and 12. 7 and 12 added together make 19. So I'm going to write this on my whiteboard. We can do the same for subtraction. I'm going to shake the box again. I'm going to open my box. This time my pieces have landed on 5 and 11. This time I'm going to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So 11 take away 5 is 6 which I'll write on my whiteboard. This time I'm going to look at adding two two digit numbers. I'm going to shape the box containing the two pieces inside again. This time I'm going to use the two numbers to create a two digit number. Here I've landed on 7 and 3. So I'm going to write 73 as my first two digit number. I then shake the box a second time. This time I've landed on five and one so I'm going to write 51 as my second two digit number I then need to add the two numbers if I add the tens first 70 as 50 is 120 and then Three ones and one one is four. So 73 add 51 equals 124. I can do a similar activity for subtraction. I generate my two digit numbers as I did for addition. I then subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So here I have 96 take away 63. If I start at 96 and take away 60, I get 36. I then need to take off another 3, so I end up with 33. This time I'm going to show you another addition activity you can do with the egg box. You'll need an egg box with the numbers 1 to 12, 2 dice and some cereal pieces. Shake the two dice and add the numbers together. 3 as 1 equals 4. So I'm going to put a cereal piece in the answer section. Keep rolling the dice and putting cereal pieces into each section. The aim of the activity is to get at least one cereal piece into each section of the egg box. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you soon. Bye.